Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Sunday, January 29th. It's the fourth week after the Epiphany, and week four in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 84, John chapter 7, verse 14 to 31. And a canticle from Isaiah chapter 45, verses 17 and 18, and 22 through 25. Now please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. Say to the power that shakes the sky, how terrible you are, sinners before your presence fly. Or at your feet they bow. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help thee. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, how lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts. Hallelujah, Psalm 84. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah, how lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts. My soul longs for your courts. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. The sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself. She lays her young beside your altars, O God of hosts, my ruler and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in your house, they forever praise you. Blessed are they whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion, who passing through the bitter valley make it a well. The rain fills the pools, they go from strength to increasing strength, every one of them in Zion seeing God. O Most High God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Behold, O God, our shield, and look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere, and I would rather be a servant in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For you, God, are a sun and a shield. You give grace and glory and no good thing will you withhold from them that walk uprightly. Blessed are they that trust in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, how lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 7, beginning at verse 14. About the middle of the festival, Jesus went up into the temple, and he began to teach. The Jews were astonished at it, saying, How does this man have such learning, when he has never been taught? And then Jesus answered them, My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. Anyone who resolves to do the will of God will know whether the teaching is from God or whether I am speaking on my own. Those who speak on their own seek their own glory, but the one who seeks the glory of him who sent him is true, and there is nothing false in him. Did not Moses give you the law? Yet none of you keeps the law. Why are you looking for an opportunity to kill me? The crowd answered, You have a demon who is trying to kill you. Jesus answered them, I performed one work, and all of you are astonished. Moses gave you circumcision. It is, of course, not from Moses, but from the patriarchs. And you circumcise a man on the Sabbath. If a man receives circumcision on the Sabbath, in order that the law of Moses 
may not be broken. Are you angry with me because I healed a man's whole body on the Sabbath? Do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. Now some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, Is not this the man whom they are trying to kill? And here he is, speaking openly, but they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities know he really is the Messiah? Yet we know where this man is from. But when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. Then Jesus cried out as he was teaching in the temple, You know me, and you know where I am from. I have not come on my own, but the one who sent me is true, and you do not know him. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. Then they tried to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him, because his hour had not yet come. And yet many in the crowd believed in him, and were saying, When the Messiah comes, will he do more signs than this man? Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And now let's recite the canticle together. Hallelujah, but Israel shall be saved by God most high with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded to all eternity. For thus says our God that created the heavens, look to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is no other. Unto me every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall swear. And only in me are righteousness and strength. And to me all people shall come. And all that are incensed against me shall be ashamed. In me all the children of Israel shall be justified and glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.